switch base half gap. So it's a little bit different to your to your regular half gap passing. So when will we use this? Like I'm here like this trying to pass the half guard and this is a very, I get asked this all the time, like how do you beat the, the knee shield here like this? Um, and the knee shield's an issue whether you're, whether you're kneeling or whether you're trying to, like up on your feet. Either way, like I need to clear this to be able to pass. Um, so what I'm going to try and do here is actually like, I just want to get into this space here to try to pass. Misha's usually going to be like blocking with his hands too. So what I can't do, if he didn't block with his hands, what I'd really do is just like uh, take this space here and, and try and get into a normal sort of half guard. So that's like chest to chest, right? Um, and you can kind of like roll off the knee shield to get there. So what I mean by that is like I'm trying to pressure in. I can sort of like turn my shoulders. And like if I had the space to, I would just pass to here. But there's a few problems with this. One, he's always going to be blocking his hands. His hands aren't going to be doing nothing. So when I try to do that, he's going to be blocking. And the other thing is, when I like sort of drop to my hip, I'm at a big risk here of Misha's bottom leg coming back through, and he's going to get me into closed guard. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to like switch across the body, but I want to just get like low on the hips first, and then I can work up to the upper body. So if you try and go for the upper body first, you'll probably lose everything. If you can try and control the hips, and then work up, you'll have much better success. So, first thing, don't let this leg come out. So, first of all, if you have a look at how I'm sitting, um, just like I'll, I'll sit on the leg. So when Mish tries to take that leg out and, and pull it out, it's going to struggle, it's going to be stuck there. So you can think of half guard like Mish has my leg trapped, like he's stopping me from passing around the guard, but I'm also stopping him from making it go to full guard. So you actually want to like put some weight on the leg you've got trapped. Exactly the same thing if I'm trying to do it like a knee through. Like I'll sit on that leg, so when he tries to remove that leg, I, I, it gives me one less thing to worry about. Okay. If you ever release the pressure on that leg, then you want to at least have your hand blocking the knee so he can't, um, so he can't recover that leg. And you'll see what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my, I'm going to sit there. I use my hand. I'm going to put my knee there. So now I can actually lift my hips a little bit, and he's not going to recover that leg. I'm going to, because he's blocking with his hands, I'm not going to drop into this space. I'm going to reach my left hand through. And I'm going to rotate my shoulders. Okay. So again, we're here like this. This knee's free. I'm going to block. Block it with my leg. And then because I can't grab his head, he's blocking all this sort of stuff. I'm going to reach this way. And I just, to get past the knee shield, I just turn my shoulders. Like that. We've fallen into this gap. And now I've, I've closed the gap, but the problem is I'm not on his upper body yet. So that's what we're going to have to work to next. But again, Let's, we're going to stop here and we're going to get to practice this, but the biggest risk here is that I lose this bottom leg. Okay, so let me just do that. Just see if I can get that little, yeah, like that. That's a massive risk when we go to this position. So again, we're here, I'm trying to pass, lock the leg, step. I'm going to switch our base here like this. I'm now facing away. How do I stop him from retracting this leg? I basically have to like, like pinch my thighs together like that. It's not, it's not like this way, but it's like a scissor sort of motion. So I'm sort of just trying to do that, yeah? Like that. So now I'll try and remove that leg. You can't move, okay. I wanna get you guys like just used to the control here. There's one other massive danger, which I guarantee if you've never done this before, you'll by, by habit, you're gonna sit here like this. And I can still put the same pressure on, but if Mish bridges me over, I have no post. I'm gonna go over. So what I need is my left foot to be bent back like this. So I'm still pinching the leg, and that's back there. Now when he bridges, see my toes like being active? That's what keeps me balanced. So we're just going to get to this spot, and then the person's going to try to do one of two things. They're going to try and bridge you over, or they're going to try and suck your leg out. Remember when you're posting, if, you, if he goes to bridge, and I go like that, now I've given a big gap for this leg to come back. So you have to stay tight with your legs while you keep your balance. So keep your legs still pinching and your left foot posting. And we're just going to try and balance here for a bit. Okay? So again, start here. Knee past. Switch your base. Pinch your legs and have your left foot as a, as a post. We're just going to hold this position. Alright? Three, two, one. Okay, so we've trapped the leg. Fish is resisting here like this. 
Like really turn your shoulders as you like swim through this way. Yeah, they don't usually try to block this angle. So that's where we can start to swim through. And we've got our position. Okay, biggest problem here is that Misha's got these great blocks. Now, to me, moving up his body. So it's kind of hard for me to pass the guard. Watch what happens if I just take my leg out. So if he opens his legs here, it's kind of a little bit of a trap. Because if I go like this, like I'm not facing him, and I don't have him flat, so it's really hard to pass. So what I'm, what I'm really trying to do, with every, pretty much every half guard pass I can think of, I almost always want this far shoulder pin. So that's what I'm gonna to try to aim to do with my, with my body weight. So we're here like this, I'm gonna start like driving in with this foot and see if I can get his hips flat like that. Cause now his shoulder's already gonna to start to move a little bit more flat. And then we can just sort of like, if, even if Mitch is blocking with that elbow, I can sort of start to just move up. I just gotta find a good angle. There you go, so block with your elbow. This one. But I can kind of wedge underneath it and start to, to move up to here. Yeah, so everyone see this. So now, I've got my elbow here, but my weight's not on my elbow, guys. So don't like, don't go like this. I want my weight on, on Mish. So I want to be like heavy, driving that shoulder, lift that shoulder off the mat, Mish. Okay, now I've got a chance to try to pass the gut. I also want to do the same thing with his other arm if I can, or at least get my hips really far up. So you see Mish is here like this. If I can get him like, that, then it's really hard for him to, to fend. So if I can, from this position, I'm gonna start walking my, my hips further and further up. I've still got my weight on this far shoulder. Turn in. That's difficult for him to do. Okay, at any point now, so now that I'm on the upper body, if I can remove my leg at any point, I do it. So if he opens his legs and I do this, I'm past the gut. That's great. It's very different to when I was down here where like I'm going to be stuck and I can't move anywhere. So make sure you get to the upper body and then we can start to pass. So, I'm in this position. If Mish goes to bridge, he's going to have to open his legs. So think of this as like a dynamic base. If, okay, so go to bridge. Yeah, he might actually take me over if I didn't step my leg back. So if I don't step, like I might not have enough to keep me there. But because he's had to open his legs, I'm waiting for that. I'm going to step back, and I pass. If he doesn't bridge, I have to actually free my legs. So most people here will sense the danger of the guard pass, and they're going to just pinch their legs together, like so. Here, I want to turn his spine. I'm going to pull this leg in. Now bridge, Mish. Show us the biggest bridge you can do. Yeah? Can you see that? When I've turned his knees, he can't lift his hips. So if I'm like this, I can bridge really high, especially if my left leg's like that. My hips will go high. If you can get them here like this, they're going to go like that. So they're not going to move you. So now that we're here, we walk our hips up and get your hips really high. Again, this is something where if you're having trouble, it's probably your hips aren't like far enough this way. I'm going to turn my left knee towards the roof like this. And you should have plenty of space to kick that bottom leg, pull on that leg and push like that. So I'm effectively, by pushing and pulling, I'm making this big open gap for my foot that was caught. So he's caught my foot like this. I push and pull. There's a gap. I step out. And then I square back up to pass the gap. Again, from here like this. I'm going to beat the knee. I'm going to switch through like this. We're going to just stabilize here for a moment. And then you're going to work to get this shoulder up nice and high and pin the far shoulder. Get your hips away a bit too. From here, See, my hips pretty much face the roof. So I'm trying to like, if you've got plenty of room with your hips, this will be easy. If you're really tight here still, and you're trying to get that leg in, you're gonna get stuck and you're gonna, nothing's gonna work. So you have to scoot away, push and pull, pass the go. Any questions? Let's have a go. Three, two, one, the question is like, first of all, if you've switched and they've caught like on top of your knee, you have to free your knee. Because then as, as I start scooting back, like this can actually get, I'm kind of going to be stuck really low like that. So as soon as you switch, one of the first things is to, is to free that knee. I didn't really say that before, but it is important. Uh, and then literally try to just pull your leg out. Like if they're not holding properly, I'm literally trying to like scoot back and I'm literally trying to just pull back. So hold your, 
So I want it so, like, where's my heel? Is my heel like jammed right up against his, like, it feels like it is to me, I can't see it, but that's, yeah. that's what I want. Like, so if you're like still got like your whole foot poking out, you haven't made them react how you want. Because I want Mish to be like, thinking shit, like, this foot's just about to come out and like, that way he's going to be forced to squeeze hard. His knees are going to be together. He's less likely to move because he can't do good hip escapes So If I'm still here, he's probably going to be happy to, to hip around and move and kind of just lightly squeeze, yeah? So let's get back and get your hips back and get it so it's just, just your foot poking out. And then you're going to have room to come through, kick, and pass. Are you, yeah, are you pretty safe because you've blocked both the shoulders? It's in your yeah. Yes. He can bridge if he wants, but I'll show you why. This is what Jarrett did this naturally. Um, so once I get to here, like this, he can't he can't bridge like uh, well anyway. He's like, I doubt he's gonna come on top. But even if he did, so go like bridge and come on top. Go, go, come on top, on top, get up, go, all the way up. Stop. Like he's basically giving me his back. Purely because like well, I've now got like access to his back. He doesn't because I'm so high. He doesn't really like he can see my back, but he can't like control that that space. Um, but yeah, so you will get that a lot. Um, the other thing that I think I saw happen once or twice, which I covered earlier today. Um, if if I go to here and Mish does get up on his arm like this, then. I'm probably not going to be up, like if he's up now and he's on his side, I'm not going to, like if he stops me just taking him back to his back, I'm not going to get anywhere. Okay. So I have to change this up. From here, I'm going to like post out here, square back up to my knees, pummel underneath. And now this is what I wanted originally. Yeah, Remember I said we went to this position because I couldn't get his head. But because of what he's done now, he's posting on that hand, he's given me access to his head. So now I can drive him back and we've got regular half guard. So again, if I'm here and he, and he gets up, I'm going to go to here, come under this gap, catch around the shoulder or the head, drive him back, and then we've got our cross face. Um, same thing, kind of, like one other problem I saw people have, uh, if, you, if Mish is blocked really well, let's say he's blocking so hard that I just cannot move up the body and I can't open his elbow out, that means his elbow is like locked really tight. Yeah, if his elbow is locked really tight, there you go, resist. I'm trying to open it up, cross face. Yeah, because his arms are so committed to that, he's, he's not blocking this motion. Yeah, if he tries to like flare his elbows up to block that, cool, now I'm underneath the elbow and I'm, I'm coming back up here. So. I'm showing you like how we can counter these things. I'm not saying it's easy, it's a hard position to get to work, but uh, there are, for everything there is an answer, uh, you just got to try to do your best to do it well.